Hi folks, my name is Ermitin de Forest. This is my unboxing of the Temple of Elemental Evil. This is a role-playing game featuring isometric view that is based on advanced Dungeons and Dragons rules and uh, the Greyhawk setting. Um, you should get rid of evil that comes from the Temple of Elemental Evil that is buried under the ground. Mm, uh, the game takes place around the city of Homlet that is constantly being attacked uh, by evil monsters from that temple. And you create a party of five characters and during the course of the game you can recruit three more um, companions so in the end you play with a party of eight characters. The temple itself is divided into sections, into the temple of air, earth, fire and water. And these uh, sections are warring each other constantly for power. And down below, in the lowest level of the temple, uh, it is controlled by Zugmoid, Zugtmoy, sorry. It is a demonic mushroom princess, so you should destroy her. Okay, let's take a look at the box art. Nice box. This is the European release of the game. Okay, let's turn the box around and see the back side of the UK release for some info about the game and pictures from the game. Okay, now let's open the box and let's take a look inside. First of all, there is the game itself. It comes on two CDs. This is CD1. This is CD2. And then there is the game manual that looks like this. Take a look at the table of contents. So, getting started, introduction to the story, system requirements and installation of the game. Quick start, starting new game, choosing party alignment and characters. Here is the character creation, the stats that you can choose. It is focused on advanced D&D players. So, there's lots of stats that you can change, lots of skills and so on. Here is the inventory screen. Ability modifiers. Here is something about the races that you can choose from. So as you can see humans, dwarves, elves, gnomes, half-elves, all classic D&D races. Then here are the classes. Barbarian and features and skills or feats of those classes, the bard and his spells cleric druid and other here's something about the paladin and ranger So this is all about the classes, now we get to skills. Summary of skills. Here are the feats. That's different than skills. Yeah, some of them listed here. Equipment. 
the carrying capacity, the maximum that you can carry each character and here are lists, tables of weapons and armor and shields in the game combat actions adventuring, getting experience and leveling up here are spells these are bard spells here are cleric spells with their effects then of course wizard spells and druid spells appendix at the end of the manual and abbreviations used in this manual yeah and some quick starts in various European Nordic languages in Swedish and Norse I think here is in Netherlands okay so in various quick starts in various European languages and index glossary index of tables take a look at the credits people who made this game some contacts on Atari place for notes and this is the back side okay and that is all that was in the box I thank you very much for watching this video